Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is so incredibly nice to meet you. And for all my returning peeps and OGs, what up, y'all? So, uh, due to popular demand, I am bringing back our connecting with your inner feminine or inner masculine readings. Um, a number of people asked me if I was bringing these back and I had, I was a little apprehensive at first because, well, the reason why I had stopped doing them initially was because I wanted to bring back the twin flame mirror reading and connecting with your inner masculine and inner feminine, um, that well, at least that concept for me was born of the twin flame journey, which is something that I am a part of. Um, and I thought, and I thought initially that by doing both connecting with your inner masculine and or inner feminine and the twin flame mirror reading that I would be, we'll say oversaturating the channel with these masculine feminine readings. But a number of you did ask if I was going to bring them back and I, I asked one of you and you were like, well, no, actually I do really like the twin frame flame mirror readings, but also this reading, this, this format was very helpful for her or for this person. So I, with that said, I was like, okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. So here we are. Um, uh, a word of advice. I do recommend that you do not watch this reading um, with intentions of connecting or figuring out, trying to understand what could be going on with either a, a divine masculine or a divine counterpart in the external, because this reading specifically is guided towards understanding what's going on within you internally, because ultimately you are not going to be able to align with a masculine or feminine counterpart in the external until you have that alignment with between both masculine and feminine within you. Now, for those of you that are fairly new to this concept, uh, I will say that everybody does have masculine and feminine energy within, okay? Even though you may be more masculine dominant or more feminine dominant in the external, it doesn't, or, or in your life, it doesn't matter because you still have the counterpart energy within you. Now, a topic or a point of confusion is this just because we'll say you are a man um, it does not mean you can't be more femininely dominant for me i am physically male but i have always been way more feminine dominant um, in my energy and i actually up until i got to sorry guys there's a police there's police or something going by and i'm just gonna have to let it <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, let's continue. Um, I am more, I'm, I am a physically a male, but I am more feminine dominant, and I always have been. And up until I reached this twin flame journey for me specifically, it wasn't until then that I really was able to start facing what was keeping me from expressing myself more on the masculine side. And, um, healing whatever was happening within me or the, the 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 wounding i had within me the trauma i had within me in terms of my masculine energy so you could also be a woman and more masculine oriented okay so just keep that in mind and so when i'm doing this reading i'm absolutely saying him or her but i'm not speaking to gender we're speaking of energy okay um Right, 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 right. I believe that's kind of it. So I want to explain to you what the process is here. I have a number of decks that I use, that I'm using for this reading. For the feminine, and, and, and I actually, and I have a number of uh, four different topics that I want to look at while uh, during the reading, okay? So, so I'm not going to go into what those topics are because obviously you'll see that once we get into the reading here. But I do want to explain the decks that I'm using for this. So for the feminine, I'm using the Crystal Visions Tarot and the Wild Unknown Tarot. For the masculine, I'm using the Unicorn Tarot and the Epic Tarot. 
And then for both masculine and feminine, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot and the Tarot of Dreams, okay? And then to close out the reading, I am getting some Oracle guidance from the Gaia Oracle. Now, before, when I was doing this reading, I used two separate uh, Oracle decks for the masculine and the feminine. But now that we're getting back into this, I kind of wanted to integrate, have some sort of common point other than the Tarot. So I'm using the Gaia Oracle for both sides of the equation. Yes? All right. Um, so I really believe that's it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Yeah? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I really hope you enjoy this. Mwah! Hey guys, welcome to Connecting with Your Inner Masculine. Thank you so much for tuning in. So without further ado, let's get straight to it, yeah? Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of anything that we would need to know right now in order to further connect and integrate with our inner divine masculine, or if you just want to say masculine energies. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, kids. So getting straight into it, we're going to start with first thing we're going to look at is what is the current energetic state of your inner masculine or divine masculine energies? What is the current state? Five shuffles. So one <clears throat> current energetic state of your inner divine masculine energies. Two five shuffles, please. Three, four, current energetic state of your inner divine masculine energies, and five. All right. Let's see what we've got here for you, kids. Inner masculine. What's your current energetic state? Knight of Wands with something else. Okay, okay. Current energetic state of your inner masculine energies that's interesting Ooh, well would you look at that good lord okay okay overall energy is the page of cups um all right so i feel like your inner masculine right now is really in an energy of of desiring to face his emotions and learn about them. Yeah, learn about them. Page of Swords, having the strength to do so. And it is absolutely influenced by the Empress or the Feminine, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Fool, the Hierophant. Okay. We have, oh, wow. Whoa. This is good. You have, in reverse now, you have the Tower, the Devil, and the Seven of Cups. This is fantastic, guys. So the current energetic state of your inner masculine energy is releasing structures that no longer serve him, releasing karmic ties to devilish activities or devilish toxic um, codependent even energies or circumstances. The Seven of Cups in reverse is telling me that he is very, very clear on this, that he does not want to lose you that being the feminine or that being the connection with his inner feminine. He no longer wants to deny that connection with his inner feminine or even the desire to be in it, to be connected to or working in tandem with his inner feminine, right? His inner feminine counterpart. And that could translate to a, an external ca feminine counterpart too, but the work needs to be done internally first. And then that's connected to this hierophant energy. So there is a release of old, outdated structures, the patriarchal uh, societal views, or anything that no longer serves him, 
this is so beautiful. And he really has the strength to do so. And it all is in fact influenced by the feminine with the Empress and the Queen of Cups. But not only is it is it um, influenced by the feminine energy as a whole, more specifically, it's influenced by the compassion, the grace and the unconditional love that the feminine continuously offers him. So if there are more femininely oriented individuals out there that are watching this, that are trying to understand what it is they need to do to continue to connect with their inner masculine energy, what you need to do is to continue to stay in this loving, nurturing, um, <clears throat> unconditionally loving, that's what the Queen of Cups does really represent, but this unconditionally loving um, energy in terms of like your inner masculine or maybe even a divine masculine counterpart in the external because that is helping him shape up. That's what I just heard, okay? Um, the current energetic state right now is the, the masculine um, could really be searching for a way to further connect with the inner feminine. But what I'm getting with this page of wands is he, he's watching, he's paying close attention. I'm sorry, not page of wands, page of swords. But he's watching and paying close attention to understand what it is he needs to do to in order to connect with the inner feminine um, or just to connect with the feminine as a whole. Um, this is a very inquisitive energy, okay? Very watchful, but it's in, in, with intentions of learning, okay? He's very cur curious and inquisitive. And it seems here that with the seven of pentacles to the knight of wands, he's definitely learned his lesson. Um, he, it, it, I'm also getting an energy of kind of like Einstein's definition of insanity, where at one point he may have been doing something over and over and over again the same way, but expecting a different result. What I'm getting with this seven of pentacles here is your inner feminine, not sorry, you're not your inner feminine, your inner masculine has done, has um, learned his lesson and is ready to change the way he approaches something and is doing so passionately with the Knight of Wands energy. It's also an energy of a, of a um, activation. The Seven of Wands is the energy that's giving or is the card that's giving me the energy of lesson learned, time to switch it up and take a leap of faith. Embark on a new journey with the Fool. Try something new this time. This is fantastic. Page of Cups as the overall energy right now is, um, I'm hearing turning over a new leaf, ready to embrace his emotions, ready to start learning from them. In many cases, this is an energy of ready, ready to start learning what your emotions are to begin with altogether. And of course, it's going to start as the Page of Cups. You got to start somewhere, right? Why not start out small, work your way big? You can't just jump into the role of the King of Cups here, y'all. You got to start somewhere. So for any of you, I really, I mean, look, I really, I really don't suggest that you watch this series in order to further connect with an external counterpart. I would suggest that you watch this series to learn how to understand your own internal masculine or feminine energies. And that in turn, over time, will, will help you in the connection externally. Because like I've said over and over and over, your internal reality is a direct reflection of your external reality. So if you're in disharmony with your inner masculine or inner feminine energies, there's no way you're going to come into harmony with, a, with an external masculine or feminine energy, right? But for those of you feminines out there that are watching this with intentions of trying to figure out what's going on with your external masculine and you're getting, you're tapping your foot, getting impatient here with this sight of this knight, uh, page of cups saying, oh my God, why can't he just grow up already? Then honey, you are in the wrong place because you need to give this masculine energy, even your own inner masculine. If you're getting frustrated with yourself about this, you have got to remember the lesson of the queen of cups and hold compassion and empathy instead of tapping your foot saying, good God, can you just grow up already? Uh-uh, uh-uh. You need to fall back, you need to slow your roll, and you need to give this person or even your own self enough time, space, and energy to work through this on their own, in their own time, in their own space. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> But I say that with all the love in the world, okay? And compassion, loving compassion. And all. But look, I'm going to tell you, I'm, shh, 
shit. Unless you're new to the channel here, you already know I ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. So in terms of getting to getting further connected, or I even want to say getting to know your inner divine masculine energies more. The next thing I want to look at is what are the current challenges that your inner divine masculine is facing right now or are facing right now? I don't know. What's the what's the correct grammatical? I don't, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter, Eric. <laughs> My Virgo rising is showing. Okay, five shuffles. One, what is your inner divine masculine facing right now? What are the challenges he is facing right now? Two. A three, <laughs> four, what are the current challenges that your inner divine masculine is facing right now? And five, I will tell you this. I did a little bit, of, I did shuffle these two decks, the unicorn deck and the epic tarot a little bit before I started recording, just to, just to, you know, get this, get the energies flowing. And the Queen of Swords with the Emperor popped out. We'll see if those pop out again. But that was already a message that your inner masculine is really being challenged by your inner feminine right now to shape up. Okay. And for those, so I guess that's kind of where I was already channeling that some of you are getting frustrated with yourself or maybe even an external counterpart in terms of why can't you just grow up already but that is yes that's queen of swords energy but that is unbalanced queen of swords energy what i'm feeling and what's necessary right now is for that is what's coming through from a balanced point of view in terms of like what the feminine is saying feminine is saying to the masculine is like look buddy i will not accept I i'm not going to take any shit from you all right so you need to grow you do need to grow up, okay, uh, take that with a grain of salt, but you need to do what it takes to step into your true masculine emperor power. Not that twisted, narcissistic, overly controlling energy. And it's and that is, that's pretty, that's pretty queen of pentacles, but it's coming through as the queen of swords, which I do see as besties, right? The queen of pentacles and the queen of swords. I do see them as best friends. However, the Queen of Swords is coming through here because it's like, look, I ain't I, no if ands or buts about it. I'm not even trying to be compassionate with you. This is what it is. This is how it's going to be. Period. Ain't no room for argument. Ain't no room for discussion. All right. So in terms of what your inner masculine is being challenged by, uh, uh, other than what we just discussed, let's see what else comes through here for you. Oh, yes, the King of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Oof, okay, okay. So already some of you, I, what I'm feeling here is some of you are dealing with, uh, oh, there she is. There she is, that Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Turning over a new leaf, starting over, starting from scratch, I'm hearing for some of you. All right, so with this King of Pentacles energy here, and the two of swords and also the seven of pentacles some of you some your inner masculine right now is really really struggling with letting go of this sense of materialism or maybe even what what really what masculine energy is really supposed to look like or su exactly because the current energetic state for your inner masculine does include this hierophant energy which talks about conformity and talks about um societal views it talks about it could even talk about like the the concept of gender norms right and so the mass your inner masculine is really kind of struggling with letting go of maybe some mask that he or that he's been wearing uh, you know and if you're a, more of a woman or more of a feminine energy here you are really dealing with struggling with what true masculinity is supposed to look like what the hierophant represents in terms of that social structure and conformity and whatnot religion institution and all that that is really a twisted sense of masculinity and with the seven of pentacles here so so i'm sorry i'm getting ahead of myself the two of swords is talking about releasing yourself of that mask sure but there is a little bit of denial a little bit of denial in, in, in saying to yourself, okay, well, maybe I don't really understand what masculinity really truly stands for. 
Some of you are in fact in denial of that. And I feel like that's coming from a woman. That's, I feel like that's coming from either a woman or feminine energy within you or feminine energy around you that are saying, mm, no, you're not a man if you don't do X, Y, and Z. Uh -uh. And the struggle here with the seven of pentacles is learning that lesson. Okay, you do have, in fact, the Queen of Swords. And then we have, oof, the devil. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not the devil. This is death. This is death. Okay, with the Eight of Wands. So, yeah. So there is a little bit, uh, I find it funny that the feminine is coming through so much in the masculine reading, but the masculine did come through quite a bit with the feminine, but I was still talking to the feminine there. In this case, I'm talking to the feminine here also because the feminine, people don't realize this, but the feminine has such an influence on the masculine more than any than a lot of people really want to even realize and more than i'm sure a lot of the, the masculines want to admit okay um but the feminine here is coming through with the queen of swords saying look you need to make this change i keep hearing toxic narcissistic energy okay and a lot of that is kind of coming from the feminine side of helping to perpetuate only helping to perpetuate this for the masculine but with the eight of wands here I am feeling like this is going to move you. You can, if you allow yourself to, if you cut away this element of denial here with the two of swords, I really feel like you could move through this, through this death and transformation very, very quickly. And for those of you that are really in terms of your masculine here, you're working with your masculine energy or you are more of a masculine entity that's just trying to understand better, I would say really, really allow this queen of swords to tell you something or to show you something don't take it don't don't take it personally don't take offense to it you and 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 here's some practice with working with your intuition if you find that what maybe the feminine or some feminine figures around you are saying to you doesn't resonate with you or twinges with narcissism then cut that out immediately because that's not the type of feminine energy you want to be associating with number one or even listening to number two what you really want like she can be coming at you as a queen of swords but there still needs to be a level of compassion there even though the queen of swords doesn't really deal with compassion if she really loves you you will understand you will feel that and that's the type of feminine energy you want to be listening to okay very interesting, you guys. All right, so next what I wanna look at is what does your inner masculine wanna say to you right now? What does your inner masculine want you to know? We're gonna give this five shuffles. Here we go, one. What does your inner masculine want you to know? Two. Three. What was that? That was two. This is three. What does your inner masculine want to you know? Want you to know? Four and uh, five skis. All right. So, what does your inner masculine? What does your inner divine masculine want to say to you? What What does he want you to know? Two of Pentacles. With something else beneath it, okay. Nine of Wands. Do not give up. Oop, the Hierophant again. Okay. Overall energy is judgment. Yes. Uh, and what I heard is the masculine is absolutely, your inner masculine wants to know that he is absolutely trying to change his ways. He's done with this. Because this is just toxic bullshit. This hierophant energy, this conformity, this this social norm, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever it is, is over, is done. I really don't want to have anything to do with this any longer, says the masculine, because it's been holding me back all along. Nine of Wands, don't give up. Perseverance is key. Two of Pentacles with, ooh, the Five of Wands. Okay, so what he also wants you to know is, yeah, there's a, whole, there's, a, there's a whole lot of inner conflict that he's dealing with right now, that he's trying to iron out. He's questioning a lot of things, questioning a lot of things. But the questioning that's happening right now is in terms of bringing greater physical balance and karmic retribution to his life. That's what I just heard. 
Knight of Swords in reverse, though. The Knight of Swords is in reverse here because of the fact that he is no longer trying to fight against this. He's answering the call, judgment. All right? Overall energy is judgment. He's saying, I'm coming to you. I'm waking up. I'm, I'm trying this new thing. I'm starting over from scratch. And we are going to build this together. You just got, you have just got to let me get through this period first. Because I have a lot of questions that need to be answered. And if homie can't answer this for me, then God help him. This Hierophant energy. But you know what's funny? Your inner masculine is already well aware that homeboy ain't going to answer the questions that need to be answered. Or at least is not going to give the adequate answers. And that's only going to further prove to him that this shit is toxic and bullshit and needs to be set aside and left behind and moved forward from. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? <laughs> that's fantastic. All right, cool. So now, final little tidbit in terms of Tarot. I want to look at what action steps you can take to further connect with and or integrate with your inner masculine energies. Yes, here we go. Give this five shuffles. One, two, whoops, three, Four, what action steps can you take to further integrate with your inner masculine energies? And five. All right, here we go. Overall energy is the world. Good. Um, the world is representing completion. Fixed energy, yes. It's talking about cycles also, the seasons. Uh, what I'm getting with this is allowing yourself to move through these cycles, to move through these seasons, and not rushing yourself. This is going to take time, okay? this is There is divine timing in in play with this. So for those feminines out there that are watching this, that are curious about what may be going on with your, maybe your inner masculine or your divine masculine counterpart in the external, you have got to allow this to happen as it's going to. Divine timing is at play here. Patience with temperance. Be patient. Page of Cups, he's learning. He's desiring to, to look into his emotions again or you need to really start getting in touch with your emotions and starting from the ground up is what i just heard the fool the four of wands the palace of swords okay and the nine of pentacles so interesting i'm glad this uh, uh, this came out and i wanted I, I figured this might come out the palaces are a unique to this um this deck. And what I'm getting with this is this is the domain of the mind. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't even. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to read the card, but this is the domain of the mind. All right. And with the nine of pentacles here, I really do feel like the action steps that you can take, especially with the page of cups, the action steps that you can take are becoming a free thinker divorcing your mental space from any sort of external co uh, influence and starting to really um, think for yourself. Be an independent thinker. If something doesn't resonate with you, then it's, then it doesn't have a place in your in your mental space. It doesn't have to stay there. You are not obligated to accept anything other than what resonates with you. Okay. I am going to read this card though because spirit is really asking me to do so. Let's see. palace of swords this card shows an environment that promotes clear thinking in the cold crisp air 
The structures rise above the obscuring mist that usually cloud our thinking and are built as observation and are built, excuse me, as observation decks for the purpose of efficient perception rather than luxurious living. The many wings, the many wings suggest the mind's ability to overcome emotional biases and attain a global perspective. Perfect. That's exactly what we were just talking about there. Okay. Um, also, the action steps that you can take here, have the confidence to take a leap of faith and set a new foundation for yourself, a new spiritual foundation even, or at least a new creative foundation, or at least a new foundation that you are truly passionate about. Okay. I really like this, you guys. I really, really like this. But ultimately, you have got to be patient with yourself because you're going through an integration process. Ultimately, this is a, in, in, the, in the grander scheme of things, this is an integration process of the masculine energies with the feminine energies, sure. And of course, if you want that in the external, you've got to do that in the, phys, uh, in, the in the internal first, but have the confidence, have the strength to take a leap of faith and really build a new foundation for yourself. Those are the action steps that you can take right now in terms of connecting with your inner masculine. All right? Excellent. So let's close out the reading here with some Oracle guidance for you. In terms of connecting with your inner masculine energies, what Oracle guidance do you have for us? Please, spirit. All right. Here we go. Oracle guidance, please. Oh, that's too many. Just one, please, spirit. Okay, we're just going to take this one then. Card number 21, remembrance. I mean, spirit kept throwing out a ton of messages, but you know what? That's fine. We're just going to take one for now. Resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. Well, there you go. I mean... I really don't even feel like we need to say this anymore, but you know, the masculine has been in this energy for so long of hiding away all of the emotions, all of the things that he's been feeling, all of his the hurt, the ways that he's been hurt under the guise of, well, men don't feel or men don't cry or blah, 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 whatever. That's bullshit, man. You're a human being. You have emotions, feel them, express them. Okay. All right, so let's read this then. Remembrance. It is said that all we have is the present. While that is true, it is also true that in essence, past, present, and future are one. We are connected energetically to both past and future. Life is an evolving story, and where we are now is the result, or excuse me, is a result of where we have been. This card signifies that past feelings and emotions are resurfacing from deep within you, and you may find yourself on an emotional roller coaster over the coming days. Do not fight it. This is all fine. It is important to occasionally remember and honor your past, for it is part of you, part of your soul's journey. Yet, remember to honor every part of it, regardless of whether you perceive some parts to be good or bad, for in some way, every experience has helped to expand your understanding and appreciation of life. Occasionally, reflecting on the past is healthy, just as giving some thought to your future is wise. However, excessive preoccupation with either only serves to rob you of the present moment and that serves no real purpose. Your affirmation here is, I bless my past and I'm grateful for every experience, for every experience has helped me expand my understanding of love. My life is forever unfolding as it should. The past, the present, and the future are one. I honor and respect my feelings and emotions, for they are part of my story say it again. I bless my past and I am grateful for every experience, for every experience has helped me expand my understanding of love. My life is forever unfolding as it should. 
the past, the present, and the future are one. I honor and respect my feelings and emotions, for they are part of my story. So there you have it, kids. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And with that, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye.